Okay, so what are we going to make today, Adrian? Crepes. Crepes. Yes, and we're going to make some crepes for breakfast, right? And, and this. Yeah, the flour and, and the milk and, and a little bit of sugar, right? Yes. Okay, and so this. we're going to make some um, batter for the crepes. And they're very, very simple. Um, all you need is one cup flour and one and one third cup of milk and a pinch of uh, salt one okay one so one we're gonna go ahead and mix that and we'll be right back when we have put all the ingredients one. together so at this point what we have here is a smaller portion uh, what we did is half a cup of flour and half a cup or a little bit over half a cup of milk whole milk and a pinch of uh, salt but for everyone who knows me, I like to change things up a little bit just because a recipe technically is just someone's favorable taste. Um, it may be yours, it may not be yours. So technically what we do is we take a recipe, a good recipe that we find, and we try to make it a little bit better. And what I found um, as far as crepes go is we add the taste immediately right onto the batter, which uh, I put maple. Um, flavoring into it and of course the vanilla extract and it gives it a really nice scent so while you're cooking it it's not only does it smell good it's also going to taste good because of the filling inside it so right now Adrian is whisking the batter and it's supposed to be really watery the consistency of it, it should be very watery and if it's um it's not supposed to be thick like a batter for when you're frying something or a chicken or something like that it's supposed to be watery and loose a little bit so as you can see we're almost there it's getting to be very watery and it's moving around a little bit so okay so what we're gonna do so he's gonna continue to make this a little bit more and while he's mixing this i'm gonna prepare the um the pan so we can start making some some uh, crepes and the filling is just whipped cream uh homemade whipped cream that is and we'll show you a video of that uh, homemade whipped cream with some strawberries and some blueberries and some banana possibly or whatever fruits that we can uh, muster up in our kitchen so again um we'll be right back as he continues to mix this and when he's done then we'll move forward okay and we are back and Adrian and i prepared the fillings that we're gonna put inside there and like i said we're gonna oh. do some heavy whipping cream or um, real nice uh, whipped cream that we made here and we're gonna basically put some blueberries and strawberries and, strawberries and, and, kiwi. and kiwi and the and batter is ready to be um, fried and made into crepes so we're heating up a nice uh, non-stick pan and we, we encourage you to use non-stick pan it will be so difficult if you use something that's um, that the batter will stick will make it difficult to flip but other than that we are gonna make a few crepes and Hopefully, um, if you have any questions about the recipe, let us know. And of course, Adrian is starting to eat the blueberries because he cannot wait any longer. That's for the crepes. That's not for you to eat. Okay, so, all right, we'll be right back as we pour the first batch into the pan. And all you're gonna do is basically, as soon as this thing gets hot, we're gonna go ahead and um, put one, one half teaspoon of butter, unsalted butter, that is, into the pan. And hopefully, just swirl it around and we'll be good to go so let's see okay so we've um, put some butter into our pan now we're just gonna swirl it back and forth I don't really want Adian to be touching hot pan so I'm gonna do this uh, here and as soon as this is actually done what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take a spoonful of crepe batter or in this case um, a little full butter or better and what we're gonna basically put it right there smack in the middle maybe just a little bit more so it's just very similar to making pancakes the only difference is that you have to kind of swirl this around and spread it around and make sure that it's fairly thin when you're doing it so just like so and some people would say you know what if it was, if it was thick it would be fine but we don't really want to make crepes thick they're thin so that they look nice and neat. Oh, as you can see, it's starting to break up or slide off. So now we've got it nice and thin in there. 
Ready? We're just gonna Ready? leave it until it basically Ready? cooks. Oh. And what we're gonna do is gonna flip it over. Make sure that you have your heat medium, not um, hot. You wanna, you know, you wanna give it some time to kind of crisp up on one side and be able to flip it. So. And the next one hopefully will make a nice perfect circle. Let's just right now this one. And it doesn't really matter because when you start putting the filling in and you fold it, obviously the edges look um, look a little flared out. So it's not like it's going to be completely round and circle. Either way, it's still going to taste really, really good just because of the fact that we made uh, most of the filling here. And as far as the fruits go, they're very sweet. So Adriana, are you ready to flip it? Yes, are we going to flip it? Okay, so we'll be right back as we put this together. Okay, so we made our first one. Uh, again, it's a fairly good size. Um, it's not quite circle circle, but it's okay. It's not gonna matter because you're gonna put some fillings and some things inside it that would um, generate the edge. So uh, this one's a little bit better just because I had both hands to pour the batter inside it and um, a little bit more circle. As you can see, it's already boiling up on one side and all you really do want is on both sides, just have these little brown like as if it was crispy but if you touch these they're actually really soft they're just the coloring from the surface of the pan okay so other than that Adian is not able to wait any further he's been eating the fruits little by little here and there as if I am not noticing it but yes I can see you eating the fruits Adian how many did you eat already two two okay so are you gonna if I had the filling here you'd probably eat the whipped cream too huh Yes. No, nope, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna wait until this is done. So we've got two crepes here and possibly just one more left. So it's perfect. One for me, one for Adia, and one for Agatha. Okay, so stop eating the fruit. Nice. <laughs> okay, all right, so we should be done here shortly. This is a really, really easy recipe, real quick for breakfast. I mean, you're talking really prep time. If you already have the whipped cream, uh, at home um, or in a can then it makes it a lot easier we had to make our own just because I didn't have any plus I like make, making my own whipped cream but when you think about how fast this can, this can be put together it simply takes some of the fruits that you have at home whatever it is maybe it's a banana blueberry or strawberry or even grapes just slice them up and then um, take one cup of flour and one and one third cup of milk and a pinch of salt and just put them all together and just whisk it until it's literally no more lumps no more clumps and it's fairly runny and that's it and of course you heat up the pan and you make a few um, crepes and however you want to basically stuff them up with some fillings inside it's ready to go it's a perfect breakfast and of course you got your share of fruits inside there and of course a little bit of a, of a of a, a good start of the day so other than that um, this should be ready to be flipped as you can see it's moving around loose in there because of the non-stick pan okay so all right we'll be right back and when you okay so what we did is we took the first two uh, that we had and this is very simple all that's in there is uh, whipped cream and of course some kiwi strawberry layered inside it and if anyone out there I'm sure we all have wrapped a burrito at one point in time this is just an open-ended uh, uh, both sides are open on each side. It's not like a burrito where you close both sides off, but they're just open, but folded um, in half and, 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 and put on a plate. What we have here basically are just strawberry and blueberry toppings. And what's on top, that purple uh, sauce that you're seeing, that's actually yogurt. Um, I took some white yogurt and I blended some uh, strawberries and blueberries in it to kind of give it a little bit more of a kick or a taste. But you can easily use any type of yogurt that you want. It just gives it a little bit more of a healthier uh, aspect. But right about now, Adrian was picking off almost everything off of it. So I had to refill some of the um, uh, fruits that's on it. So basically, uh, let's see here. This should be good enough for possibly two people, but maybe if you're really that hungry, it'll be for one person. But then again, the mixture that we did earlier for the batter was just half a cup of flour and half a cup of milk and of course a pinch of sugar. So if you wanted to do for four people, you might want to do like a full cup and everything just multiplied by two. Okay, now this is the last leftover um, one that we have and we're gonna go ahead and give this to Adrian just because I think he's still hungry from earlier and it doesn't look that very pretty but then again once I make it and cook it, or uh, uh, once we fill it up with some fruits in there it'll taste really yummy so at this point um, Adrian are you ready to eat? 
Adrian, does it look good? Yes. Yes. And and it took very little time. Like I said, prep time is only about five minutes. And Adrian was able to help me whisk and put uh, a lot of the um, ingredients together. So, and it's another successful breakfast on this day at our home. And we'll see you next time.